This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Around this time on Wednesdays, we get a chance to talk with Grant Hall here on Halftime. And after a win over Kentucky, it's all smiles for everybody right now. Grant, that was a lot of fun to watch last night, was it not? Yeah, I, th- I thought the first 20 minutes was about as good a college basketball as I've seen all year from anybody. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Kentucky didn't quite do its part in the second half, but Arkansas did. And what was it, uh, 18 out of 25 from the field? I was reading that that was the, I think it was the best shooting performance since 07 or something like that by Arkansas. And they made their free throws, and it was just a great night. I, I was really surprised on the on the three-day turnaround and the road-to-road combination, uh, but they, uh, they, they were amazing last night. What do you think of the Mitchell twins just stepping up? How, I mean, I'm impressed with them. What's your, what's your thoughts on the way they've been playing the last few games? Yeah, especially Mikel, you know, who is, what is he, blocked 12 shots? Yeah, he had five last games. night, yeah. And a two or three in close order there. It was the kind of game that, you know, that plus, um, well, and of course, uh, his brother had nine rebounds, so that was pretty good too. But the, the two steals by Black early in the second half, that was almost like a statement. In fact, the whole game, Matt, uh, other than when Arkansas first went in the league and beat Kentucky 105 to 88 in 1992, uh, that's about the only other time I can remember Arkansas doing that to Kentucky at their place or really anywhere. I mean, can you, <laughs> you, you know, you, you're used to, if you beat Kentucky, it's by a few points. I, I played yeah. once against Kentucky at Kentucky and yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't, uh, we didn't come out on the winning side. Anthony Black's making himself a lot of money. He's clear. He was the best player on the floor. I was talking to Phil earlier and, I've I've seen all but just about a half so far SEC play. I haven't seen a better player on any of these other teams than Anthony. There might be a guy that can shoot better. There might be a guy that's 6'9". There might be a guy that can... But as far as a basketball player, I have not seen a better basketball player in the SEC than Anthony Black. That one pass he made right back uh, underneath for just amazingly quick reactions. and He's doing this a little bit banged up, too. Uh, in fact, one of the stoppages last night probably benefited him a little bit. He he did he left the game for a whole minute and something I think instead of his usual forty minutes. But uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, Grant, I've never seen anybody go through three pairs of shoes in a game. Maybe it's happened, and I just those red ones attention. he had to get. Those are ugly, though. I understand that was <laughs> aesthetics. That was only a st- yeah. That was, Where did he go? Only. Was it white? To black, to red. To red. No, it was red. red and he cut yeah. those off real quick to okay. black because those red, those red ones were ugly. And I'm a, and I'm a Razorback guy, but they don't don't wear those, Anthony. Yeah, it's pretty impressive to have that many shoes on hand. Unlike the days when uh, Ricky Norton had a blowout one night, and and Eddie Sutton called uh, Jimmy Dykes over next to him, and Dykes got all excited, you know, and he said, "Jimmy, what size shoe do you wear?" Exactly. So, <laughs> <laughs> they used his shoes. Well, Graham, Graham lost his shoe yesterday. What's up with the shoes? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, they, but you know, speaking of sh- shoes and, and heels and everything, and I, at the end of the game last night, if I'm, uh, I'm assuming both you guys watched the LeBron James stuff. Um, yeah, I see a little bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he sat out the last number of seconds and was kind of, you know, there was maybe there was some issue with his ankle. I don't know, but uh, that didn't come up in the post game. I mean, it was an amazing scene. It, it was a great. Uh, that he did it when he did it. He, you know, he had said he did not want to break the record with a free throw. Uh, he made a nice fall away jump shot with the captain there, and a, and the ceremony was nice. But I, I was kind of surprised by the length of the ceremony in the game. And of course, we've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Somebody scores more points than uh, Kareem. We Abdul probably won't see it again. You know, in our probably lifetime. Won't. I mean, to you have know? that longevity and play. I mean, it's, uh, and he's going to play another three years. Like, I mean, uh, oh, he's, uh, he's yeah. going to score five, six thousand more points. Right. You would think, or you know, until he can play with his sons or whatever. But uh, yeah, that. But I thought it was in in the whole uh, aftermath. You know, the Lakers lost the game by three points. And Beverly hit a three pointer at the buzzer, and of course you had Isaiah Joe playing well, and Williams on Oklahoma City. It's nice that they got to be part of it, and, and they won the game. But in the whole uh, time afterwards, there was not one mention of the Lakers losing the game. No one, <laughs> no one asked LeBron about it. 
and they're not exactly in great shape. They're not you know, a threat this year. Playoffs. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not a. I don't think they're going to do anything. They played a little, like a little better in the last couple of months, but uh, it's pretty, Anthony Davis was kind of he MIA was sitting down. I looked yeah. that looked a little odd. He's not he's not feeling the love Kyrie style. Maybe he might want out. Yeah. Well, I mean, LeBron yeah. can still get all the glory when the team is no good. Yeah, but the rest of the players don't get any of that glory. There is a little bit of that, you know, where the quarterback always takes the law. You know, you kind of get the, too much blame and too much credit. LeBron really doesn't get a lot of blame, I don't think. You know, it's his teammates and, that get the blame. And one of those uh, statements, quick things he said afterwards, I thought he alluded to where he might be playing in the future. You know, it wasn't exactly like he, a full endorsement of, of finishing his career with the Lakers, although uh, Ab- Kareem Abdul-Jabbar did say that he thought he was under contract to continue. I think, he's, I think he's going to end up finishing his career with whoever his son ends up. Signing. Whoever <laughs> says they'll give him yeah. 1% of ownership, you know, come finish your career and, and, and we'll give you a part ownership of the team. And I mean, that's what he wants. That's I guess that's thing. also like an if. I don't know. Maybe there's no guarantee that Bronny gets, you know, right into the NBA. If, if if LeBron James is an owner, he'll get a ten day. He'll, he'll get a ten day. Kind of like uh, Gordy Howe uh, played with his son, yeah. you know, yeah. Mark and Marty. With they'll the, figure it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but they were they were good. They were some good players. It's like the Griffies. <laughs> I think Ken, they, Ken Senior could still hit a little bit by the time he retired. I don't know if I. That's the, about the coolest thing. Both of them going back to back jacks in a in a major league game. Well, it's also so. There's there's a great trivia question. You probably know the answer to this. Uh, Grant, um, what brother combination hit the most homers in Major League Baseball history? The cons- oh. uh, the Aaron's, right? It's the Aaron's. <laughs> that's oh, right. Hank, Hank hit seven hundred fifty-five. Yeah. Tommy hit like fourteen. I didn't know his brother played. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, uh, speaking of like records and the ceremonies and all of that, I, I remember I remember a little of of Bonds, you know, when he broke Aaron's record. And you had, um, you know, Hank had the message on the video board and all that. But that that was so controversial because of obvious reasons and the steroids. The one that stands out to me is when Ricky Henderson broke the stolen base record. You remember that? He stole third to win it. To, stole right? third. Yeah, yeah. Pulled out the bag, raised it to the sky, and announced into a microphone. You remember this, Grant? I, I couldn't believe he pulled the base up. You Do you know? remember what he said? I don't remember now. He said, Lou Brock was a great base dealer, but today I am the greatest of all time. And we should we just <laughs> should have been impressed that Ricky actually referred to himself as I instead of Ricky. Instead of Ricky, yeah, yeah. That's exactly Yeah, right. well, I, you know, I obviously was parcel to Lou Brock, and uh, I actually saw Brock uh, go for the hit for the cycle one night in St. Louis, and the reason he hit for the cycle was he was thrown at it, on a, an inside the park attempt, he was about halfway to home, and, and Vern Benson, the third base coach, stopped him, and he went back and was thrown out at third. <laughs> you know, so that was his triple in, in the cycle. That's funny. Some of those moments get weird too. Like George Brett, three thousandth base hit, was then followed by him being picked off of first base. Oh, man. your shoes are untied. How are you going to steal a hundred <laughs> bases? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Didn't uh, I think Wong got picked off first to end the season for the Cardinals a few years, some years back? That was the end of the. Like, got picked off first base, and that was the game. That's right. That's, yeah, I think I remember that one too. Uh, Grant, uh, we we got into this yesterday about these records, and so me- so often the records lead to conversations about or arguments who the greatest of all time is, and you know, top five and all that kind of stuff. And so much of it is colored by. I think the era that you grew up in, uh, yeah, you know, so for me and Matt, it's like, it's all MJ because he, he was MJ. He was like God. To uh, kids LeBron, our age then. LeBron's on the team though. Like yeah. I'm going MJ on my starting five, as, as, but LeBron's in my starting five. But yeah. Grant, there's other people that still talk about Wilt or, or will bring up magic or will say Bill or Russell, Bill Russell yeah. you know, I mean, so, you know, where do you well, come yeah, in? You can- well, when you speak about eras, Eddie Sutton told me one time that he said it, it was not arguable that Bill, of course, this was before these other pieces, but Bill Russell was the greatest because he won 11 titles in 13 years. Uh, you know, Wilt won two or something in, in the same era. Heck, he won and one as was, a player coach. Not just yeah, <laughs> and, and Michael won six. I think LeBron's only got three, right? Three in 20 years. 
Is that, am I right about well, that? Or is it- LeBron has uh, two in Miami, one the bubble in L.A., one in Cleveland. So he has four. Yeah. Well, yeah, four. Yeah. Okay. I'm I, sorry, LeBron. I shortchanged you one. <laughs> but, well, uh, the bubble one has that asterisk by it. I mean, that hey, that 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 comeback against the Golden State Warrior team that won 73 games, man, I don't – that's the that's amazing. Just if, if that was the only one he won, that would be enough. I mean, that they, there, he had no business – Winning that one, although they shouldn't have lost to the Mavericks when when they, they had that first one. Grant, you notice well, with this conversation, like when it like so with football, we all are RA, so it's it's Tom Brady, and you point to all these records, and you can point to the Super Bowls. People did the same thing with Montana. People did the same thing with Jerry Rice. I don't really, we don't like bring that up too often with baseball because I still I'll go to my grave and be like I don't know if I ever saw anybody any better than Barry Bonds. He never won a World Series. Right now, I don't know if there's anybody been better than Mike Trout in the last twelve years. I don't think he's won a playoff game. You know, I mean, Ted Williams never won a World Series. You know, you, you could say greatest hitter of all time. It's like baseball. Maybe a it's sp- harder because of the number of players on the team. But, you know, you, so many more players you have to like in basketball, you get four other guys and you can, I mean. Well, one guy can take all the shots. One guy doesn't get to take all the hits in baseball. Yeah. Jordan uh, scored 32,000 plus to me. He, he's the greatest ever. It's funny though. Guy, I was thinking like, like, Probably we've not seen the greatest player yet because uh, I don't think Jordan or LeBron James were as good as shooters as, say, I mean, Seth, Steph Curry, for God's sake. Or, you know, you name a lot of great shooters. LeBron's not so, a great shooter. No, he had to no, work on it. Yeah, he, he's he, made himself yeah. a pretty good <laughs> But he's not shooter. great, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I well, bet that, yeah, that debate can go on forever. I See, but – and we talked a, b- a little bit about this, too, with the errors. Well, if Larry Bird was in today's game, he would have today's uh, treatment and today's uh, psychologicals. I mean, all the all the coaching and all the stuff, he would be better. He would be better now. Larry Bird would have been able to use cryotherapy for that and back, he, which basically – Instead of Bud Light, right? Yeah, and then he right. would be he, – <laughs> he would be shooting so many more threes. When he played, He I think, like, he didn't shoot that many threes. You know, it'd just be different. You're as Bird would have I, used cryotherapy to ice his beard. I don't know if I exactly. saw anybody better than Bird in college. I saw him play in college several games. Saw Michael play, of course, against Arkansas. But um, he would hit guys in the head that were open because they weren't used. They weren't ready for Larry's, his passes. Yes, yes. Oh, Grant, uh, it's great stuff. Great stuff. You think this uh, basketball team back to Arkansas when we close out? I mean, they're on a run. I trust road wins at Kentucky. I will trust that uh, over a close shave at South Carolina. But, heck, I'll take two road wins in four days, no matter who it is. I'm starting, yeah, to, that, I'm starting to believe that this run might actually mean something. That that was enormous last night. I mean, we were all kind of looking at, well, maybe they go four and four or something and maybe win the first game of the tournament and get in. But they should be okay now if they take care of home. Uh, and really, the way they're playing, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to, to beat somebody else on the road. But it was just a... It was a lot of fun, you know, and it, you can see even uh, Eric, uh, he doesn't smile like that often after games. <laughs> By the way, did you guys see when Scott Van Pelt was referencing uh, Anthony Dillard last, instead of Al Dillard, he called him Anthony. <laughs> did you catch that on Sports Center? Some guy was making a lot of deep shots, you know. <laughs> I did not, but I did notice yeah. Musk smiling at an official. And it wasn't like a sarcastic smile. There were some of those, the, but I actually saw like a real one. The other day, they hey, one, of, one of them had Todd Day playing with Al Dillard, too. They were like, yeah, when Al Dillard and Todd Day, I was like, I don't <laughs> think they guys, those guys played together. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Phil, uh, I went to um, my neighbor's luncheon yesterday, you know, the, the Arkansas women's basketball team. And the end of that last game was interesting on a lot of levels. Oh, I mean, yeah. You know, obviously, you would know all about it. But uh, what happened was he Mike felt that uh, their player – set an illegal screen, you know, uh, so that that should have taken precedence over the Poffenberger fifth foul and all that. But, I mean, to win that game from where they were was kind of a miracle. I mean, when an 85% free throw shooter misses two, and then they get a five-second count, and I think probably the other official to call that was conscious that the other call hadn't been quite right, you know. Um, that was uh, that, like that a, was useful I for will, Arkansas. I will say this. It, it did feel like a quick five seconds, but we'll take it. They did defend it well enough, but it felt like a quick five seconds. Yeah, well, maybe Mike, they deserved he, he it, though. Timed it, he timed it at 5.1. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll trust Mike's stopwatch uh, for, yeah. that, for that quick moment.
Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.